Casey and I are gonna, it's gonna be a talk show. Oh, and cut. <laughs> oh, I see, this is, this is the fade track button. <laughs> there it is. Great. Amazing. Yeah, no, Casey and I will not have any of that nonsense when you guys are in Gallivanting. Let's let's take a look at the rings today. Let's take a look at the rings, real, just real quick. Let's, let's a let's ring check, some, everybody. A little ring check. Uh, wait. Okay, girls. Oh, oh Friedrich's howling because he hears a. Okay, Aww. so today my move ring. Can we see the number? Oh, you beat me! Wow. And how do wow. I do the how... next one? You scroll. Eight twenty-seven to seven forty-four. How many minutes of workout? 69. Oh, fuck off, Miranda. <laughs> I don't know how I have 84. My class was only an hour long. But. And I have not hit my stand goal today. And you know what? I'm not gonna. <laughs> that's how that's I That's what my, that's my February goal. They're like, what's your stand let's goal? Let's try and stand 10 hours. Oh, mine's 12. Oh no, you have no, you cannot. It's nearly impossible. Nearly Could never. Impossible. Could Especially never. me, the that bitch that lays down all the time. Yeah. No, like it's just offensive. I'm like, I'm not standing 12 I hours in a know day. If I'm up for 12 hours a day. Right. Like, like that's just awake. silly. Right. Jessica is here. She's watching. She's, She's here. tuned in. Hello to the Barbies. Hi, uh -huh. Hi Barbie. RJ's not here today. Um, he's been kicked off the show. So because it was it was getting too, you know. What's the one thing that RJ brings that the three of us don't rant? <laughs> it was getting too. It was just you, you know. <laughs> you know that awful thing he does. That one thing he does. We had um we had cooks. We got dinner. That's the one thing RJ does that we the do. None not of the do. three of us that do. None of us none do. of us yeah. do is cook. cook. Listen, Casey can do her little I made the lasagna soup little videos all the live long day, but I know at the end of the day she is we not know. A cook. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. No, I got I got Remy under this hat. He's Honey, under this the wig. Strings. <laughs> <laughs> um what are we talking about today? How is everyone? How are we doing, girl? Yeah, like we, let's not dive right in. Let's like be friendly with one another. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would like to just if this was it was too long for a go off oh. but you know i had a really tough saturday oh oh and like so we wake up and stuff and i won this gift card from yes this we voted uh, for vase to win a gift card yes we all, we all voted um to rig the election so i would win a gift card to this yeah. little coffee shop that i we like. did not stop the steal yeah yeah and so i won a 50 dollar gift card to this place and i can only use it on like coffee and and they also serve alcohol so i'm guessing i can use it on all that too um and so i'm like ooh, like it's a nice saturday let's go to radio mm -hmm. and get some coffee get some that's what you know, it's called. baked goods have a beautiful Saturday afternoon. It's like noonish, a little bit before noon. And radio coffee and beer. Yeah. Uh huh. Honey, I'm on the website. There you I'm go. looking her up. Okay. There is the no parking, Mama. <gasps> no parking to be had anywhere, and that's a big issue with this place. Is that if you come at the wrong time, there's just nowhere to park. And they're very strict in the neighborhoods around them. Mm. And the part where you can park is very sketchy. Like, if you want to park off site, it's very sketchy in the like allowed section. Mm -hmm. Wait, Real have I sketchy. Been here? No. Uh, no. We went to Cosmic. Oh, okay. Cosmic it's Rays. That same Cosmic energy. Rays. And so it's like very cafe. similar. It's very similar. <laughs> So so we just leave because it's just too much or whatever. You know, it's like I can't find a parking spot. We're just going to leave. So I'm in a bad mood about that. And then we go and we go and have breakfast at this uh, place. And they're out of sodi. 
So I'm also annoyed mean? about that. Like they're like, we have no soda. Like our fountain is messed up. Like and then I'm like, okay. Is like just shot to shit. Yeah. And I'm There's like CO2 tanks that no. It's done. Yeah, it's something. And so I say, okay, can I just get a sweet tea? Well, we've got unsweet tea and you can flavor it yourself. I'm that, like, are you're we not in, in Texas. Are we not in yeah. Texas? Are we not at Kirby Lane Cafe, which is known Cafe. across Austin? Mm. I just, I'm just. Also, it's... let's be very clear about one thing. Sweet tea and putting a sugar packet in already ice cold tea. It's never. It's, no. It's not no. the same. No. Because you know the sugar ratio. Sugar doesn't dissolve. You need it. You no. need, I learned that working at the candy store when we would make our own sweet tea, you had to have hot tea yes. to get sugar. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I got my unsweet tea and I put some fake Splenda packets, whatever the yellow, you know, my yellow sugar. Yeah, the off brand. Mm. And so then we're leaving the place, walking back to our car. And this man stops us. He's got a little table outside of Jet's Pizza. And he's like, hey, boss, can I talk to you about child about child endangerment and what we're doing here today with Jet's Pizza? Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Casey, we have a Jets pizza right down the road. We almost got it for dinner. Wow. It's so nice. Detroit style pizza. Detroit style. Big, big pillow, big pillowy pizza. Big pillowy we love pizzas. It. Yeah. So he's like, I'm here with childhelp.org and we're, we're getting, um, we're filling backpacks with all the things these kids need to get them out of these abusive home situations, blah, blah, blah. He's got some raggedy ass backpacks to show us. And he's got like a weird bucket that he's, he's simulating taking the backpack and putting it into the bucket. And he's like, with your help today, we can help, um, you know, fill one of these backpacks, um, would you like to would you like to help a child today? And I've already got my Girl Scout cookies that I paid my money for because I am I do support the troops and we'll talk about we that. We support later. the troops. Yes, we'll talk about I've got that. my Girl Scout yeah. cookies in my hand. So he knows that I've already yeah. spent oh. some money yeah. on someone. And so Joe goes, sure. So then he his eyes light up and he tells us about what we're doing today and what we're doing today and how this is gonna help, blah, blah, blah. Um, but you know, so that's, that's $20. And so would you want to be, um, a champion today, boss? And, you know, we really want to get the word out about our helpline, our mental helpline, um, you know, for the, for these kids. Miranda because of Winnie. (laughs) You know, I want to, I really want to get, you know, the word out for these, the kids and the helpline and blah, 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 blah. Would you be willing to donate? $30 Thirty dollars extra to cool. our to our mental health thing, and so fifty like, total. Fifty total. Fifty smackers. Fifty fifty dollarinos, and he's Jesus. like, "Sure." The whole time I'm googling child help backpack scam. I'm reading Reddit. I'm looking. I'm looking I don't, for the answer. I, I gotta be honest. I don't love that the website is childhelp.org. It's not great. It's, it's just not. not it doesn't. It rolls off the tongue like, in the wrong way. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's like, yeah, we it's childhelp.org. We help the children. It's like, mm, yeah. but do you? And so I'm looking up, and then, and then the guy's like, I need to do. Here's the charge for the the backpack, and then I had to do it again for, for the the thirty dollars for the uh, mental health or whatever the fuck. Mm. So he he does two different charges, and I'm thinking that's strange that he had to do two separate. Maybe just fifty it. Yeah, just fifty it. Um, and he's like, "You're gonna get an email in a couple minutes, and it'll explain everything." You know, once you've left the the booth. Um, and he's he's also asking us about like movies and and saying like, "Yeah, what's a good theater around here?" I'm thinking, so you don't live in Austin because he had never heard of Alamo Draft House, and I'm like, "Oh my god." And so That's I'm crazy. looking up the scam and I'm and I'm reading and it what it is is oh no they sign you up for a little subscription. Oh. So that is a reoccurring charge every month of 20 they, and 30? At least one of them. He said or I had Joe look at his email 
and it and it was the twenty dollars was reoccurring, or the it might have been the thirty. I don't remember. Hmm. But as soon as we and and people saying like it took me, it was really hard to get a hold of them to cancel it. Blah blah blah. Oh, no. Um, but it seems like since then, some other people commented that I found later um, that said like I got this email and I emailed them and I told them and they they actually canceled it and refunded me right away. Blah blah blah. And so as soon as we walk away, after this guy has called Joe boss 20 times, um, he also said, do you do you want to be in like a ultra champion and donate oh. five backpacks today to so spend a hundred dollars? An and ultra the, champion. Sir. And Joe was like, no, not today. And he's like, uh, OK, boss. Well, let's get those credit cards. Um, and so. And so I was like, Joe, I was like, I was like, you better keep a damn eye on your credit card statement because I think you got signed up for a subscription. And sure enough, he checks his email and it says reoccurring. Yikes. And and so I found the website where you can like put in like your name, your email um, when you were charged or whatever and to cancel it. And so they emailed back and they said it has been like, removed from their cancellation or whatever or like from their subscription but i was like you better keep an eye on it because i'm pissed and so i was pissed at this point because because it's just like you can't catch a damn break because you want to be you want to be i want to be proved wrong i want to look at this table and be proved wrong that you are not a scam Mm -hmm. that you are with the good of your heart trying to like earn money for these people but I was so pissed off about it. And we're drive I'm driving. And you know, I'm a I'm a peach on the road. Um and and I am so pissed listen, off. Listen, listen to that Patreon single writer app to yeah, hear more about I, Casey's driving skills. Oh. <laughs> I'm I'm just like, I can't I'm so fucking tired of like just people taking advantage of nice people and taking their money. And this is, it's like, you can't catch a break. You want, you don't want to be like mistrusting of people and you want to give people the benefit of the doubt. Then they charge you for these reoccurring things. And then this Tesla was trying to get over and it was like in the far right lane, trying to get in the far left lane. And I'm, I'm honking, I'm blowing my horn. Joe's like grabbing my arm and we did not talk for the rest of the drive home because he it was, was much. it was so too much stress. And as soon as we got home, I just went into bed and I did not get out of bed. It was like for 1 72 at this hours. Point. <laughs> I did not get out of bed until, till like 7 p.m. Because I was like, you know, I just got to stay here because I'm so pissed off. Today was not my day. I did not get my didn't get to spend my gift card. No we got sodi. scammed out of fifty dollars. No sodies. No sodies. So I'm also running on no caffeine. Right. Or you know the tea. Yeah. I guess had some caffeine in it. But Ugh. your un <laughs> your unsweet Splenda tea. Yeah. Ugh. It's just like I shouldn't be able to Google the scam in front of you, and then it's like I knew I was going to cause more of a scene if I had if I had. Once he, you know, said thank you or whatever, I'd say, I, if I was like, you know, I'm looking at some stuff right now and it seems that um, a lot of people on Reddit have something to say about Miss Child Help. Unfortunately, and then, and then a lot of people that, on Reddit have a lot of things to say. I know. And Reddit's general. not always correct. But correct. whenever in different subreddits, different communities, people are saying the exact same things, you start to believe Reddit. Yeah. So I, I was here's not my, having a great Saturday. Here's my tip and trick. As someone who works in a location in which I consistently have clipboard people on the street as I walk mm. to my local pot belly to pick up my yes. little sandwich that I purchased. Here's my tip and trick to you. Uh, do, don't do the phone. They know the phone. They're going to ask you anyway. They don't even believe you're on the phone anymore. The phone doesn't work. The phone is 2014, okay? They used to believe the phone. The phone doesn't work. I don't like to be rude, and I don't like to say I no thank you, right? Because it makes me feel bad. Mm-hmm. But I am a charitable person. I give in many different ways, and I give to a few different organizations. 
So what I've started saying <laughs> is I will basically be like, like we have ACLU out a lot by us. Mm-hmm. And I I do not monthly, but I have I do give to the ACLU. Okay. So I've thrown some money at the I've ACLU. I've thrown some money at the ACLU mm-hmm. when they were screaming. I tipped the yes. dolls. Yeah. So they're out on the street and they go, excuse me, do you have the moment to talk about it's usually women's reproductive health. Women's reproductive health, we're part of with, with the ACLU. They have the little the little vest on. And I say, oh, actually, I already give to the ACLU. And they go, oh, you do? And I go, oh, yes, I do. And they go, high five. And then we high five and I walk away. It's great. I do that for every group, whether or not I give to them. <laughs> Now, coming from Des Moines, we don't have a lot of clipboard girls. The we clipboards don't. are big, are like your Chicago's, your New York's. Because yes. I've gotten stopped yes. by a New York clipboard before. Mm-hmm. We, we and well, it went from being you want to you want to uh, just sign for our cause, and how about Casey, you give us some scratch? I think I think we're coming to the problem, and I think it's you. I think you're I was, the approachable I said, person I, who's like, I'm going to talk to this girl because mm. I'm going to reel her in. No I one's ever asked Miranda anything. They're no one has. I do not. So Adam is like, yes, Miranda's I give. Not I a, do not yeah. look. I do not speak. I act as if I am unable to hear you in the vicinity. Okay, mm. that's how I, I have also, acted. Like, like the like the little AirPods are noise canceling. Like I can't hear you. Oh, I don't even have. They can very well see. I do not have AirPods in. I have nothing, um, and I just don't speak to them. I don't speak to anyone. You say hello to me on the street. I am no, absolutely not. When is Bill for New my, York? Mm-hmm. I oh god, that is my one regret in life, honestly. <gasps> yeah, um, you they ring my doorbell all the time. Oh, and we I, know. We've talked about. I know. It. We've yeah, we talked it. about it. We've seen it. I but but in here here's a segue for you, RJ. Oh, but I remembered that recently I changed that. I found out that you can do responses. You can leave like a a. Like a automated response. an outgoing message on your on your ring, ring or after mm-hmm. like eight seconds, mm. and it's like it's some automated thing, and it was like, no, thank you, we are not interested. Have a good day, because I was like, I'm tired of these people. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of these bug pest men coming because we do in fact have a our we already have pest people. Um, well, this weekend. <gasps> Beautiful weekend. <gasps> Beautiful weather we're having it was a gorgeous here. Record breaking. Record breaking. Yeah. This is the Spring warmest has day. <laughs> this is the warmest day it has been in Iowa since 1928. Wow. Um, wow. We're all gonna die soon enough. But they they God were out willing. in full force this weekend. <laughs> they were out in full force this weekend. The the pest people. The Girl Scouts, oh. America's troops were America's out troops. this troops weekend, serving, proudly serving. And guess what? I forgot <laughs> that I had the outgoing message. No, <laughs> thank you, little no, girl. I did not record the message. It is an automated response. I wish you could have it um, as yourself, but no, you can't. Um, so yeah, I turned away three Girl Scout troops against my will this weekend and oh. i do kind of feel bad about it but not necessarily like we would have bought like one box from each of them because we jace has a goddaughter who's in the troops and we we give all of our monies to her you know sure. yeah so but i did feel bad i, I think it's they- it's hard to pass the girlies because the girl scouts were were proudly outside of the the brunch place we went oh, to yeah. oh they're and so smart yeah. like in as florida a, proudly outside the Publix. uh-huh yeah as a former girl <gasps> scout from yes. kindergarten to 12th grade wow you did the I, whole thing i did the whole thing you were the equivalent of the eagle scout yep wow. i there was there was Casey. three of us by the time i graduated high school Three of us. You know what? I I'm learning so much, and it so much is making I, sense. I right knew now. you were. A, I knew you were a scout, but I didn't know you went 
I went, you went hard. I, I went all in. I was all did in you, on the scouts. In college, did you come back to be like a den mother or whatever they are? I don't know. Uh, a troop leader? No. A house mother? A house, <laughs> a house bunny. Mother. A house bunny. <laughs> Listen, I made Joe watch House Bunny a oh my god! Ago, and he loved it. It's so good. I mean, it's so genuinely good. Genuinely good. It's so good. Oh, Emma Stone. Man. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Anna Ferris. Yeah. Uh, you know the the girls the girls stay busy and the the comedy is there. Yeah. Um. Is. But yeah, I did the I, you know, and those the girlies take cards now. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, they're they're oh, prepared yeah. to accept any and all um, payment. I had, I had a homeless person because I usually am like, oh, I don't, I don't care. I genuinely don't carry cash. No, and I usually am like, I'm sorry, I don't have any cash on me. And a man Again, said, I have Adam Venmo. Speaking, <gasps> and I was like, oh, well, you got what, me there. What now, I yeah, said, not today, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's why you just don't talk to anybody. Yeah. Do not make eye contact. Just keep walking I know. oh man um but casey what kind of girl scout cookies did you buy i need to know when we're buying girl scout cookies what are we buying that's what i, I want yeah. i have so one order yeah top my top girl scout cookie that i'm always gonna get is depending on which area of the country you're in you're yes, getting say this either mm-hmm. it's what either is a it? samoa or a or caramel, caramel delights. Delights. That is also my top cookie choice. It's, it is the it's, premier cookie. It's the perfect and, amount oh, of everything. Even if you're like, that's how we discovered. I'm like, oh my God, do I like coconut? That's like, literally, Miranda, we're the same fucking person my whole <laughs> life. I was like, I don't think I like coconut. I don't think so. Because you would see those cakes at the grocery store and be like, yeah, that doesn't look, no, I don't think so. No. And then I had that and I said, well, maybe she is that I ball. am a coconut girl. Coconut, chocolate, caramel. Mm. I mean, oh. a, a gift, a true gift. So innovative. That's and what those girls are genuinely because they have there's a there's a Toll House or a Keebler version of the Caramel Delight that you can buy like oh. year round. I did not. Know Definitely that. not as good. I oh, don't know yeah. what it is. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's not. Yeah, as good. it's it's just not the same. No. And so it's that in girl the Scout comments, crack. we've got Jessica mentioning the toffee. Which oh. I've I never not, heard I, of a Toffee Girl Scout cookie. She's gluten free. Um, it's a rich, buttery cookie with sweet, crunchy toffee bits. Because oh. let me tell you something. I am also a toffee bitch. Like, oh. I love toffee so mm-hmm. much. I love, I love coffee. <laughs> Can't start my morning without it. <laughs> Can't do it. Don't talk to me before I've had my morning coffee. <laughs> It's not a millennial podcast when oh, we don't talk about they coffee. Sold, they sell out on the first day. So they're they're popular. Oh, I should be doing this. There. Oh, wow. yeah. There you go. Um, wow. Yeah. And they've made this new. So like, okay. So and you know the deal that there are two different bakers. There's the yes. ABC baker mm-hmm. and little brownie bakers. Mm-hmm. And so. Um, and by they bakers, different... we do mean factories. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So in some parts of the country, you're going to get one and, and uh, the other. But it, for some reason, the Samoas have to have different names. Yeah. And also yeah. the do si I grew up with do si do yeah. And now it's Do-si-do's. peanut butter sandwich. Which peanut is butter so sandwich. Boring. Yeah, boo, but Those boo. are not, yeah, not typically my go-to. But I tell you why, how I'm a boring little bitch as well. Thin mint. No. RJ loves a thin mint. What? I foil? love the shortbread cookies. Oh, they're good. I they're just like foil. I like Christmas shortbread better, so I don't the, usually the get Christmas it. The Christmas yeah. shortbread's like more buttery. These yeah, ones yeah, are yeah. more of like a like shortening. The Christmas one, yeah. They're I just I love them. They're yeah. always ones I would get. I I didn't discover thin mints until I was an adult cuz my mother famously does not like peppermint or anything that's oh. flavored. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so she would You like buy peppermint that. though, right? You're a peppermint girl. Yeah, but like you bought a big, big candy cane that you used to walk around. Yeah, Disneyland as a cane. with as yeah. a cane. As a cane. Um. Yeah. Like I, I chew gum. I have mints. I do that sort of thing. You like a peppermint typically... mocha? Yeah, occasionally. Oh. Okay. If someone handed yeah. you like a peppermint patty, would you eat it? No, I wouldn't. 
Oh. Hmm. I'm not, this is a big conversation. This is weirdly a very big conversation in the K-pop realm. Really? Mint taco. People are either very pro mint and chocolate or anti mint and chocolate. Oh. I do not like mint and chocolate. I think it's very strange to feel like you're brushing your teeth but eating chocolate. Yeah, like the Andes mints post dinner. But however, I do oh, like an Andes mint. I, I love like an Andes, Andes mint. And I think I only like them at Olive Garden. At Olive Garden. <laughs> but I think it's get, because drop, I want you to drop like 12 of them on our table, please. But I think mm-hmm. that's like, it's a different type of chocolate than like a peppermint yeah. patty. Yeah. Like, or, it's the, different. or the mint chocolate chip ice cream. I hate mint chocolate ice cream. I Ugh. always wanted, I always, growing up, I wanted to be a mint chocolate chip ice cream girl because it's cute. That, it was Mary Kate's. Olsen's favorite ice cream and I hate myself for that but I like Adam you of all people (laughs) can't say that to me okay one finger is pointing directly at you okay (laughs) um I was 11 you are I don't even know how old you are 32 31 almost 32 He's oh, not God. confirming nor denying. And now I'm, I know. He knows it. Me and Casey are 22. Are 20, We're oh, Gen Z. Oh. We're the God. youngest girlies on I, the pod. Mm-hmm. First know, of all, I, I am the youngest girly on the pod. You are Let's the be very clear. on the pod. Yeah. You are. We won't take that away from you. Thank you. Um, um, I also would always get the, um, just the peanut butter chocolate ones. Uh, that's a tag along. Tag the tag along. along. Yeah, tag the, along. the yeah. thing that everybody thinks RJ speaks. Tag along. Yes, tag along. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I took yeah. my mom literal years to be like to go. Oh. Well, it's hard. It it is hard. It's mm-hmm. tough. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. 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 When you've never heard it. She because still. I, I will say, say my most... mom still calls Ari Ari sometimes, and I'm like, mm-hmm. now it's been since fourth grade, mom. <laughs> We gotta, <laughs> we gotta write the ship. Yeah, <laughs> most most boomers, it's like you just have to. You, I have just accept that they're never gonna get it. My family, here, like you're here is my it. favorite thing that boomers do. And please mm. let me know if boomers in your life do this. Mm. They either add an S to the end of names that don't have an S, like Chipotle's, or they don't have the S when something does, like. Like we go to this place called El Guapo's, and all of the boomers in my life call it El Guapo. Does that I not? I don't think that happens to anyone I know, except really? for RJ's mom. But I think that's more of a. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think that's uh, an RJ's mom thing. Into, no, yeah. that's like I have so many boomers in my life. Mainly, it's adding the S. Do you want to go to Aldi's? Do you mm. want to go to? Oh gosh, I'm trying to think. Trader it's, Joe. Trader Joe. So RJ's, like mom, RJ's mom, and then I this was confirmed on TikTok that many Tr- Filipino moms call it Trader's, Trader's Joe. Joe. That's funny. Unironically. <laughs> Trader's Joe. Trader's Joe. <laughs> <laughs> um, it should not be Los Guapos because it is. They would no, never get it's, it. You won't. Yeah, look it up. It's different. There's a whole. It's based on the Three Amigos, El Guapo. Oh, the the um the Steve Martin movie. Yeah, Three Amigos. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Jessica's mom says Trader Trader's Joe. Yes, Trader's Joe. And I also use Chipotle as an example. Now I this know, one, yes, Maisie Moo brings this. up. Boomers in my life always add the to things like the Facebook. That and is technically. Common. It used to be the Facebook. It is. So, so maybe they're so correct. It's giving, I still call it MGM, you know? like Oh, sure. It's yeah. the same energy. Same yeah. energy. I call it but the yeah. MGM. The MGM <laughs> Studios. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Megan the, the Epcot Megan Center. The Megan the Stallion. The yeah. Megan the Stallion. The Megan, Megan the Stallion. <laughs> the Megan the Stallion. Um, did we keep up with any of that? And either of you two? Megan, Nikki, that was fun. I, I was having a good I, time. Yeah, I didn't really keep up with it other than I, I was like, I think I'm supposed to be Team Megan, and I'm good. Yeah, with that. definitely. You're, and I'm, you're also from Texas. So. Are we supposed to make a side? What's happening? Are they um, fighting? Are the girls fighting? Well, Megan, re- so were. Megan released a diss track called Hiss, 
And it kind of was just taking down pretty much anyone who like was shitty to her during her entire like Tory Lane's foot situation. Do you know what I'm talking uh, about? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. So it was kind of really about that, but just in general, like people being shady toward Megan post everything. Then for some reason, Nikki took one bar that referenced something called Megan's Law, which is uh, the law that I think puts sexual predators like into a list. It's the thing that started the like sexual offender list. Mm-hmm. Nikki is married. Famously, this is not even alleged. This is true. She's married to a convicted rapist. So she took it very personally and felt like it was an attack about her. So then released a diss track back to Megan called Bigfoot. The joke being that Megan is very tall. So she has big (sighs) feet. And then, and yes, Jessica's Jessica's correcting me. Her husband and her brother are both on the sex offender registry list. Oh my God. Uh, Nikki famously wrote the judge when her... I'm, we're gonna get canceled. Megan or Nikki? Fam- <laughs> <laughs> Adam says we're gonna get canceled and then leaves. What happened? I there is a- <laughs> <laughs> Nikki heard me. Nikki heard me. Oh my god! Said, Cut the cord. The barbs got me. <laughs> okay, so anyway, blah 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 blah. Sorry, I clicked it. A- Okay. Our mouse has like buttons on the side, and I we're gonna like, get canceled. Adam, you leave. need a fidget toy. I need a fidget toy. So anyway, so then there was like a back and forth. Da 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 da. Nikki's track wasn't that great, to be quite honest. Anyway, Megan, everyone rallied around Megan. She led the top, the Billboard Top 100 this week at number one. Uh, she's the first independent artist in history to ever do that as a solo, which is crazy. Wow. Um, hmm. So good good for Megan. Anyway, that all being said, we have another back and forth. Yes, Nikki talked about Megan's dead mom. That also happened. Ew, dirty. Okay. Mm. There is another famous beef that's happening in the world. <gasps> Are we Tell familiar? Are we? I don't know. With- Are we familiar with? Have we ever heard of Bob the Drag Queen and, and Maddie Morphosis? Morphosis? <laughs> have you yes. seen this, Miranda? Yes, I have. It's so funny. So it all started because Maddie was on the pit stop. Trixie is famously hosting the pit stop this season. Maddie was on as a guest, and there was like a they, there was a girl group challenge this past week. And Trixie was asking, have you ever like done the thing? Some of the queens will do the thing where they're like, if I was on this, this is the verse I would have written and then they'll release it. And Maddie was, and she, and Trixie referenced like sometimes Bob, Bob does it. And Maddie was like, oh, I just think it's really corny. And she was like, I don't think it's, I think Bob's really good at it. I just think it's like the idea of doing it is really corny or like when when the girls do like, here's what I would have worn for the runway. But like, You're not on the show. You're not. It's not Mm -hmm. the same situation at all as you sourcing whatever. So, (laughs) so then (laughs) it like kind of went viral because Trixie thought it was very funny that like Maddie was just very open and honest about how she felt about it. She wasn't even being shitty. It was just really funny. And then so Bob released (laughs) a diss track about Maddie. (laughs) Is it called Corn? I don't yeah, remember what it was called. Yeah, it was it was something about corn. Something about corn, and it's very funny. And um, I'm gonna say a word that might offend some people. On the, she, or wait, corned beef. Corned beef. Yes. Corned so beef. she she call in, in the track. She calls Maddie, who's famously a straight. He's a straight cis man. Uh, as who is a drag queen is very cool. He's a great ally. Uh, she calls him a straggit during it, which is incredible. <laughs> And doesn't it's he great. also call him Tu Wong Fu at it's one so point? Weird. Yes, she references Patrick Swayze and Tu Wong Fu. She asks oh. where where he was on one January six because he is he's a oh my head. god. <laughs> no. He grew up in he grew up in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Yeah, so. it's really good. Oh, it's very funny. No. So then Maddie oh. released a clap back, <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, also, was equally funny. There were so, there was like a good bar about like. Famously, like Bob is like Pan and Polly and blah blah blah. So she's like Pan Polly, his hism. You can't take no criticism. It was. Re- it's really the whole thing. <laughs> the back and forth is really fun. You can tell it's all in like good energy. Yeah, yeah. 
It's really funny. Oh, They're funny. both really good. They're both very funny queens. I was having a that is what I was enjoying this past weekend was just all of the back a and forth. A very lighthearted diss track. Like. So lighthearted. And then bah, there, <laughs> um, uh, Maddie tweeted out a, fo- a screen cap of their like their text conversation because Bob was they were talking or whatever and basically revealed. It's not even really revealed. I didn't know this because I don't listen to Sibling Rivalry, which is Bob's podcast with Monet. But apparently Bob is a... a a very staunch Android user. So she like showed it was like uh, the green bubbles. I was like, oh God. <laughs> it was very, <laughs> it's just so stupid. It's so funny. Anyway, it is a great, great weekend for dumb beef. Yeah. Corned beef. Corned beef. That's great. Um Punxatani's Phil, he did not see a shadow. So we are getting six weeks of spring early. Did you? know the percentage of in which this groundhog is 37 percent. 37 percent i think we need it what are we doing what are we it's doing it's this just, is, why can't we just switch it then <laughs> like, genuinely i think the i think groundhog day is the type of america that i still think is like fun goofy nonsensical sure it's, it's giving buffoonery but like in the fun camp small town way that's a good that's a good point i'm just i'm saying why don't we make it different so the person like why wouldn't that why wouldn't him not seeing his shadow mean winter and then vice versa since he's wrong so often yeah because you would think if he sees a shadow it means it's a sunny day yeah, that, right. That means that spring's coming early, spring's but that's coming. not yeah. what it means. It's very that's strange. That's not what it means. I think no. I've had it wrong this it's whole the time. the opposite. Yeah. If he doesn't see a shadow, then spring is coming early. Okay. But if he sees a shadow, then that means Six he more runs weeks of back winter. in. That doesn't, that don't make no damn sense. I'm not a groundhog. I can't tell you. I can't I, tell yeah, you. I can't explain it. I'm, I'm sure. not a meteorologist. Listen, I'd rather celebrate Groundhog Day than Columbus Day, honey. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. Um, oh, no. Maisie Moo is realizing on, on... You know what? Let me verify that information. <gasps> groundhog Day... Day Shadow. I will not get over the fact that I paid money to see Groundhog Day, the musical on Broadway. Yes. So if Phil sees his shadow, that means six more weeks of winter. If he doesn't see a shadow, it means spring is on the way. And spring is on the way, he says. It doesn't I mean, it doesn't make sense. Let me go to the Wikipedia page. The origins are uh, Make sure you donate German. a dollar. Gotta donate. Oh gosh, donate to Wikipedia and they'll never stop emailing They're... you. Oh, did they get you, Casey? Oh, Casey oh, sev- oh yeah, they got in, like, you in 2018. They got I'm me, just gal. Saying I stand with my statement that you we easy to reel. You're like a a little trout fishing. Do you know? Oh, yeah. Do you know Argument. who once? Do you know who once they have your email because you donated one time? Will never, you will never not receive an email ever again. You will be on an email list for the rest of your life. The Democratic National Committee. I mm. donated, I'm pretty sure, to Hillary in 2016. And I have been on every single major like email list since then. Um. I have unsubscribed so many times and my they find my, you. my address gets p- put on another one mm. and it'll be like it was one thing when it was like okay it was for Val Demings right fine I used to live in Florida fine they'll be like we gotta support <laughs> Mr. Arizona and I'm like Mr. Arizona needs to ask some Arizonans for help uh-huh. before he starts reaching out to this Illinois little boy. Old me yeah, yeah. cause <laughs> it's not today honey yeah and um as someone that does send out emails through like a mail system for you know uh graduate education just also just know that sometimes you get a new system and you import all your old leads and they Mm. get they get uh, pushed out as prospects again 
and you send out emails to a bunch of people asking if they want to go to graduate school. And then they all write you back and say, you denied me three times. I can't believe you're emailing me again. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> It's like I didn't mean to, Mama. It was a mistake. Mama, it's the, it's system. the system. It's the system. It's the system. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Don't hate the player, hate the developers. They brought all the leads over. You know I don't know how to do that. No. Mm mm. Mm. Couldn't be me. What's but really I wild still is get text messages from Florida about voting. Uh, same. Girl, I've oh. received text messages about voting in Indiana, a th- a place I've I never get voted. Text- yeah, I get texts all the time. I'm like, will you stop? stop? And I just, I always reply, stop. But then someone else is emailing me mm-hmm. or texting me. Yeah. Do you remember when there was the like, a do not call list? Yeah. We need that, yeah. but for email. Do not email. Yes. Do not like, email me. There should be, you should be able on like Gmail to put up a filter that's like, or you know, like you should be able them. to block people on an email. Yes. Yes. Not have to like, like filter them out, not send them to spam. Block. Cannot send. This email yeah. is undeliverable. MailerDamon.com. Mailer Damon. Yes, yeah, Mailer Damon. I love Mailer Damon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like there should be something that whenever you're sending out like a a message like that is you should have to check something in whatever email system that says or or you get like sued that says this is a marketing message mm -hmm. and then so then on the receiver side you can say block all marketing messages that should be a thing i'm very passionate about this and i think if any party it can be done. If either one of the two parties championed that bill, they would have they would be set for the next twelve years in Congress. No joke. Yeah, I think that's how fed up people are with email. Sure, and the phone calls. In the phone calls. Oh, I, I don't, don't get them that I much, but I, phone. I there will just be times that they. I do like when iPhone rolled out. Like it'll tell you if it's spam. It's like potential yes, spam. spam I'm like, oh girl. But yeah. like it only works a Half quarter the of the time. Yeah. I don't I and this is probably bad because I'm in a I'm in a job in which I should <laughs> probably be answering more calls, even if I don't know the number, to be honest. That's, yep. That's but so I don't. Yep. I send them right to voicemail. And with that new update where you can watch <gasps> them leave the message absolutely, in real time. Absolutely. And then you 100%. can interrupt. You can answer during their message mm-hmm. and be like, oh my God, I just almost missed your call. How are you? And they're but like, then, yeah. And so if you don't, if you're calling somebody and you do not leave a voicemail, you are not getting not, a call back. You're not getting a response. I have never, in, if you call me and don't leave a message, you butt dialed me. Yes. Yeah. I'm not calling you back. No. You either text me or you leave a message. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or yeah, you email. Hey, just try to you call email. you. Yeah. Give me yeah. give me notification in some capacity that you need my response on something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, otherwise Girl. that is just sitting. Yeah. Forever. Sh- sitting pretty. Yeah. Adam, can we hear about your friends at at uh Jersey Mike's? What about them? Oh, did he film me talking to my friends? No, he just says ask Adam about his new friends at Jersey Mike's. <laughs> We went to so we went to the gym today. Um, both of us had some personal training to do. Yeah, we're we also, were also supposed to ask about ask your about new your personal, personal trainer. Training. Are these oh. like first date questions? Like, like we needed things to talk. RJ was worried we wouldn't have things to talk uh, about. Like we would just we're doing fine. Without you know, the three of us have no idea. Is he here? Is yeah, he there? He's, not, he's on a he's on a cl- he's in a class. Oh, I thought he was in a class like off site. No, no, it's uh-huh. a, it's on Zarm. Well, grab the Zarm. computer. Let's go in there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, we brought the pod to you. So, okay, we went to the gym. I had a new personal trainer today because the girl that I've been seeing wasn't available this week. Um, just at the time I usually have, she was booked for. So I was like, it's okay. I'll just find someone else. And she was like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, it's fine, girl. Yeah, anyway, like we're not I had, committed yet. I had this 28-year-old named Tin who's from Vietnam. He's very nice, very friendly, um, very intense. Not in like a, a toxic way, but just in like a 
explaining it, talking about anabolic. He said anabolic, and I was like, oh, anabolic so you, fluid. You did know, he, say honey. Fluid? he did not say fluid. I, he just said. He just I don't said know. Well, you know what? Honestly, it went in and out. It went in and out. I don't know. <laughs> but he seemed very knowledgeable. He has a master's degree in like kinesthesiology or whatever the fuck mm. it is. So he knows what he's talking about, which is nice. So he's great. Um, so then we went to Jersey Mike's. We went to Tri-State Michael's, as RJ and I call it, afterward. And Michael's. Um, got sandwiches. And I didn't know that they have Parmesan crusted bread. So that was a discovery i had today after going there for many 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 months i thought they had white and wheat and oh. they had a third option oh and i was I've like i've never oh. been to jersey mike's i did not know that let me tell you what jersey mike's i think is that girl i hate to tell you jace's of all the sandwich places i'm pretty sure jace's first choice is jersey mike's it is they cut they cut the meat on or upon order it's not just like sliced ahead of time oh. that's really not and the meat and the cheese um they do this thing called mike's way which just means she's drippy she's she's a juicy girl she, they the slather her up vinegar. with oil and vinegar. vinegar um but they have they also have like some cheese steaks which is what i usually get love the um, cheese steak. it's very good today i actually had the buffalo chicken sandwich was quite enjoyable it, anytime i have buffalo chicken i think of miranda um because her go-to party dish is to make buffalo chicken dip so that's they just what i in college yeah right she, not anymore now she's Be classed it up i'm cl because girl that thing was the furthest that is that was literally just a stick of butter a block of grilled cheese a cream whole cheese. thing of cream cheese yeah a whole thing of mike's hot sauce and mm -hmm. i don't even know what else yeah, chick awful, Ch canned chicken. canned chicken. Yes, yeah. <laughs> not canned. Yeah, it's got to be. You got to do canned. Um, yeah, it was good. Why does he want me to talk about it? Oh, because uh -oh. oh, because then I was like, they we just had a little bit of a repartee going. So I was talking to them, and they were like, first they asked RJ if what he wanted on his sandwich, and he said just everything but out without the bacon, and the guy was like, bacon's the best part. And I was like, ha, well, he's got gout. So if you want to carry him <laughs> up the stairs, go right ahead. Um, we like to do a little banter like that. And then and then in general, I was like, uh, I just wanted to say they have they must train you like crazy about being like super clean because they constant you would never think of your think of your sub classic subway experience. There's mm -hmm. just shit everywhere. Oh, God, it's a mess. It's like one of those people if you, they go in with those petri dishes and the Q-tip and they yes swab it. Oh, Horrible. No, awful. Jersey Mike's. They're constantly every between every sandwich they scrape that little white board into their little trash can. It's constantly like looks pretty, faced, beautiful. Their stack of bacon and their little warmer to the right. It looks beautiful. And I was like, they must really emphasize that. And they were like, yeah, it's just you know we just want to be clean. It's part of the experience. And I was like wow, you all really like your job because you're not actually being like, yeah, it's whatever. Like they were like actually talking to me about it. And I was like, oh, they treat you well. That's nice. Good I hope they know. pay them well. Now I'm nervous. Uh, now I'm nervous that do. I'm <laughs> highlighting a business. I think, I think Mike's way is, you know, is, is Mike's way with good pay. We'll just say, we'll just hey. say. And, we'll, and say that. Say that. Yeah. 11.84 per hour for a locator whatever that means oh oh that's in des moines 11 per hour for a wrapper oh so. it's higher here because the minimum wage in chicago is 15 yeah the minimum wage here is seven something so. 725 yeah yeah <laughs> um how do we feel do we feel like we need to talk about we need to, we need to get things off our chest I think we, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I can't on. find the fucking, I, had a, I can't I find had a it on RJ's thing. So I don't, I'll oh, I see it. Here it is. Okay. Um, did we, before we go, we won't have a chance to talk about this again. Any Grammys thoughts? After I uh, said I wasn't going to watch it, I did watch it. Yeah. I watched like the sec. I watched, I ended up watching a couple hours of it. And then by I 10 o'clock I had to go to bed. Started. 
Yes, I watched, I think, exactly when I watched when Billie Eilish started performing mm-hmm. until 10 o'clock. So. Celine? I did not we watch even want to talk part. about the Celine Taylor. You know what? I'll talk about it. No, in because my, there's in a photo of them backstage looking happy as a clam together. I'm also going to say she has a condition. I would also be scared to like hug her. I don't know. Like, but also whatever. it's like in the moment of things when you're like, when there's 12 million people on the stage with you. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, they took a lot of photo backstage. Yeah, I don't have thoughts about it, and I don't really care about it. I'm trying to think of like the only moment I was like, "Oh, oh, he's not even gonna wave." Do you want to join? Are you gonna say hello? I'm just listening. Oh, you're just listening. Okay, he's on a little 15 break. Well, Um, you right arrived right at the 15, in which we're gonna do our go offs. In case you had anything you wanted to get off your chest, I did learn. Um, Because I was like, why is Meryl Streep there? I did not know that she is the... Because I missed the opening speech. Apparently, Trevor Noah said something in his, like, opening monologue or whatever. Um, She is Mark Ronson, music producer of many Barbie things. She is his mother-in-law. Oh. Yeah. And so she went up there and presented an award with him. Oh, wow. and she posed the question that I've always wondered. She was talking about they were giving the award for like either record of the year, record of the year. And sh- instead of album. she was like, I, yeah. And she goes, but what's I don't know oh, what's the difference. Yeah. She was like that. A record is an album. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> so that was funny. But she was there and it was really cute. She like gave him a little kiss on the cheek. And I just like. I would like a little insight to that family's world. <laughs> Where's that docu? Where's that lifetime Where's, docu? Yeah, give me that life. Yeah, Miley was there. She won her first Grammy. She did. What Two did you Grammys. think of her her gold bird look or whatever? I learned today it was made out of like paper clips, wasn't it? Like thousands of paper clips. Yeah. It took six over six hundred hours to make. I liked her look from neck down yeah. <laughs> it's just um, a little lioness for me you know it was, yeah it was not i would have thought casey would have liked it because you know it's very it's very southern pageant energy it is yeah it's, it's a, a kennedy it's davenport a to- toddlers and tiaras oh abeline yeah. miss little miss I abeline pushed back <laughs> and then the hair it starts here and goes like straight up and out is she I from think... texas where's she from She's from Tennessee, isn't she? Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah. Nashville. I think what upset me the most is that she gave like five different looks that night. She did. She had five different looks and her hair looked like that in every single look. And I was like, if she chose that hair for one of them and then Mm. mixed it up, up. I would have appreciated it more and been like, Mm. oh, it wasn't that bad. But every time, like, so she has all of these moments that I was like, oh my God, no, like I don't. Yeah. It wasn't my thing, but she was great. She was very Miley in her performance, like poking fun at the crowd for, or like not like asking like why they weren't singing along. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there was and that I, clip I of like her the- going like iPhones on the red. On yes. The yeah. <laughs> yeah. The on the red pop. Hat. Yeah, the pap had them. Yeah. So funny. I mean. She's Miley. She, she's she's Miley. just being she's Miley. Miley. She's smiling Miley, Miley, y'all. I'm Miley, y'all. I'm Miley, y'all. I'm Miley, y'all. She's just being Miley. Miley. Well, um, shall we go off? Oh, did you have yeah. more? No. Great. No. Casey? Grammy's no. thoughts? Nothing? <laughs> Nothing. I mean, RJ just and I like... obviously didn't watch because there were no K-pop acts nominated this year, so there was no interest from us. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm just waiting for my Casey Musgraves album. Mm. We got that oh, she the dropped the she, my sister she dropped and Casey. The, um, Not the only one who teased an album. Yep, she teased her <laughs> album right before Miss Taylor. That's, like, yeah. She, she what happened was she presented an award. Miss Casey did. She presented an award. Then when it went to commercials, they played her commercial, and then all of her social media and everything drop that you know like go to the website pre-order the vinyl or whatever mm-hmm. no there's no photos of any of it really um and she had been posting stuff on instagram the day before 
but and then like truly like it felt like the next the next like break the yes. next commercial break is when Taylor won an award and and announced it. Also, did you see that it's in the Grammy rules that you're not supposed to do what Taylor did? <gasps> Yikes. When you're accepting an award, you're not supposed to um promote it's supposed to be promo. <gasps> And she's and then, done that multiple times, no? I don't know. For Grammys, I don't know. But it was funny because there was a meme that was the mean girls, uh, Regina George. Those rules aren't real. <laughs> I mean, it's a little it's a little stupid because the Grammys is promo for all of these things. Yeah. It's like one it's, big commercial. Right. Yeah. It's a little silly to be like, but in the speech itself, don't reference yeah. Don't it. ever do that. I'm Don't sure. I'm sure she that. got like a, a, you know, a slap on the wrist a and like a, worded a fifty dollar fine or right. something. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god! Did you see these fools on social media Monday after the Grammys, thinking freaking Taylor Swift and Travis <laughs> yes. Kelsey were in the Magic Kingdom? People no. legitimately were like. People, I watched a TikTok of this woman who has like 888,000 followers on TikTok leave her hotel room at Disney World, to get her to whole Magic. family to run to Magic Kingdom because they thought Taylor and Travis were there. Was, was it the girl think- that was staying at the Grand Floridian? Yes. Yes. But she's not the only person I thought that. I had travel agents asking, asking. on a Facebook group. But wait, why? Like, what made what them think the that? Origin? Just, I don't even know. So, I didn't even watch far enough because I, I was like, this is so stupid. You are my, all so yeah. stupid. I think my thought was, so Jason Kelsey, is that his name? Yeah. His the brother. brother. Yeah. Oh, the brother. He was at the Magic, he was at Magic Kingdom last week and pro, he filmed he some promo pro stuff and the promo stuff dropped yesterday. And so I think people were it was like a game of telephone. People people were saying, "Oh, Jason, Jason Kel- Jason's in the park," Alabama. but it they were just watching a video that was filmed the week before. Mm. And so I think the telephone. But then got to down think to, Taylor was also there. Also, it, like I don't, if Taylor and Travis go to Magic Kingdom at any point, which they may they or may close it down. Here, they are going to be backstage most of the time. They're going to come in through a backstage door, ride the ride, the ride and go and right, right back, back out. out. <laughs> Girl, what? Taylor yeah, would I, not. Taylor would. Uh, has anyone ever seen Taylor Swift at a theme park at a Disney park? Has that ever happened? I don't know if she's gone. It doesn't feel not. like it ever has. And I. Ariana at this point, has, right? She- Ariana, Ariana has. Ariana's famously a Disney girl, yes. Uh-huh. But at this point, I think if Taylor was going to do a Disney theme park or any theme park, she would buy it out. The park yes. would be closed. Yeah. Yeah. She's not go. I she's mean, not meeting up about- with Travis for the Super Bowl after parade. You want to talk about buyouts? I mean, Universal Orlando closing both parks at five p.m. yesterday. It's not a good look. Oh, <gasps> did they? Why? Yeah, did I guess they? they had they had two corp companies buy both parks <laughs> out. I guess. Damn. So, Kaiser Permanente. So their uh, their operating hours were like nine to five. <laughs> Wow. And Volcano Bay is obviously closed because wow. it's the wind. I mean, but it's like, well, that's where you get going to the damn park in February. I mean, it's a little stupid for people to be like, well, we had no idea because do you know how early they have to like schedule these things? Yeah. Like they it's yeah. been on their calendar for it's months, I like promise. A- you are just not looking. Yeah. People in their comments being like, people save years for this. And I'm like, yeah, so then go the next So then go to the day. next day the next or day. do the research to make sure. Yeah, Hello. if you right. were saving Sorry for years, it. you should be doing the research. I'm not, I, I, I am less that way than I used to be when I was in Orlando because there's so much to research now, but like operating out, you can't yell about operating yeah, out. Yeah, you I'm have sorry. to. That's like, yeah. what time is Starbucks? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what time is the grocery store open? Like, these are just yeah. things you look up when you go anywhere. When you what go you buy a hundred dollar ticket per person. I will say yeah. like it used to be annoying last year <laughs> when they required reservations at Walt Disney World because you had to make your reservations for a November trip when you don't know when the part the holiday parties are yet because they mm-hmm. haven't released it. So it's like you do it so far in advance and then it, it drops and maybe people don't look and they don't think about it. And they're like, well, I did this however many months ago. They should have told me. And they don't. That I mean, that's definitely on Disney because they should send an email like, "Hi, yeah. your uh, park hours have been adjusted." To to visit yeah. us on this day. Please mm-hmm. note that the park hours are. Blah 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 blah. 
But yeah. no. Bibbidi-bobbidi. But no. Yeah. Let's no. go off. Let's go oh off. I'll go off real quick okay. before okay. I go. Archie, for my 15 minutes. It's your time. It's your time, girl. Go off. Go off. Go queen. off. So, you know, I, I'm sure Adam has already talked about our lovely dinner today at uh, Tri-State Michael's, as we lovingly refer to our friends. We already laughed about it. We've already made friends <laughs> over there. That's so funny. <laughs> mm, clever. <laughs> We've already made friends with all the guys that work there, you know, the dudes that work there. And the and girl. one very friendly girl. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes I would like to choose, like, you know, the the calorie-friendly drink, you know? And more often than not, I will choose the unsweet iced tea. Well, we've already talked about Miss Unsweet Iced Tea today. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. surprise, surprise, after I drank my unsweet iced tea, this happened like a few weeks ago, I was like, I feel really sick. I feel like I'm going to throw up. I feel so nauseous. But I ate a full meal. It was, you know, a turkey sandwich or whatever. And but then, Jersey Mike says their iced tea, like they, it's like brewed. It's, it's not like in brewed, the fountain, right? No, it's not. It is a brewed yeah, yeah. iced tea. Okay, it's in the cooler thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I told Adam, I was like, I think that iced tea made me nauseous. Mama, why did I look up and say black tea contains uh, high Dreams. amounts of tannin? Tannin? Tan- tannins? Tannins? Tannins. Tannins. Yeah. That... That make people nauseous. And I was like, I always, because I what? always feel it's nauseous when I drink iced tea. I It's but me when I drink like a fast food iced tea, unsweet iced but it's tea. It's also like, a like unsweet or off, like when I'm not eating. Like when I have food, I feel like I'm typically fine. Yeah. And but may, I don't know if it's because, I don't know. Maybe, so like now I'm super wary now of like, you know, like black iced teas. Yeah. Because it's happened multiple times, and I've always just like, oh, that's just weird. I've never, yeah. <laughs> I never connected the string. Is together. it just black tea, or is is it? Yeah, all tea? I, it's like strongest in black tea. Mm. But and I think that's you know the lip because you usually have like if you I go to like a, an ice if you go to a cafe, you'll yeah. have like a green tea, and that's been yeah. fine. So I think it's just these like hyper concentrated. I'm gonna say probably Lipton ass iced tea leaves that they use Ugh. to brew for you know miss mcdonald's miss jersey yeah, yeah. miss jimmy john's well and i always worry miss about firehouse like, miss firehouse. firehouse i always worry about some of these teas if it's been like sitting all day yes because mm-hmm. like the sweet tea probably gets rebrewed a couple times because that one's usually more popular. Probably popular yeah at Unsweet least cheese. at least here in the south but like if a if a tea is sitting out all day, yeah, that she's, can't be good. That can't be good. Those tannins are just those brewing. tannins are just they're marinating, percolating. marinating, percolating. marinating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I don't usually have a a tummy issue with the tummy, a tummy, tummy issue. issue with the well, girl, your tummy is coated tea. with so much Dr Pepper that it has <laughs> <laughs> so much. It's uh, a nice as- layer to go nice on top lining, of it. Aspartame. Really- yeah. <laughs> a full, a barrier, you could say. To yeah. If you. if my if my stomach hurts, then something bad is happening. Something <laughs> real bad is happening because <laughs> it's it's pretty. She's pretty tough. This. But I will girl. say, they did have the the one option that they had. Um, they did have a Pepsi Wild Cherry, and <gasps> I'm gonna say it. If I had to choose a cherry. I think you're not choosing cherry coke. You're choosing. I think cherry I'm wild choosing Pepsi. Pepsi. That's, Pepsi. 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 that's yep. I agree. Because the Pepsi in itself tastes like it needs it needs something. something. And you the know? cherry, it's the perfect. The cherry companion. is the perfect. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Symbiosis. <laughs> we love cherry and diet soda. Yeah. Wild cherry Pepsi is the girl yeah, of the Pepsi. The that's what. That's what my whole family drinks. <gasps> Well, call me a, a Hoosier. <laughs> okay, well, my 15's done. So thank you, 15. Okay. Have fun. Thank you, 15. Thank, thank you, 15. for gracing us. Wow. A celebrity on our podcast. My God. Oh my God. Huge. Wow. That was wild. Who wants to follow that? I mean, God. Oh, God. Big shoes. <sighs> 
I think I'll Miranda go, should. I guess. Yeah. Jeez. Okay, Miranda, tell us. Tell us. What are you going I'm, off about today? I was going to go off about how the news is so stupid these days. And I mean, like, morning news shows. Like, I do believe there should be a ch- separation of church and state. AKA, we should not be talking <laughs> about social media and trends on TikTok oh, on no. the lo- on oh, national news. Go That's off. not yeah. fair. I do... I do not give a flying fuck about the new mob wife aesthetic on the Today Show. In fact, that makes me less intrigued. I don't need to know what Hoda and Jenna, and granted, I know they're not news. When you get to like that hour, the fourth hour, the fourth hour, the third, first of all, the third hour is a copy paste of the second hour. They are Mm -hmm. literally talking to the same people, but it's different hosts. And then the fourth hour is just stupid and should be demolished. (laughs) Let's put the people puzzler on the fourth hour of the Today Show instead with Leah Remini. Um, Anyway, it just like got me like so annoyed. Like I understand we have like a pop start moment where like Carson Daly comes and gives like a little tidbit. That's fine. But there are like full news segments where they're like bringing these people in. Also, I'm getting annoyed that why are we posting? Why are why are national news sources showing all of us the Super Bowl commercials. Why are they doing that? Why are they showing? Why have I seen seven Super Bowl? They're already out, and they're showing them. They're promoting them. I'm like, then what's the fucking <sighs> point? Yeah, like that's the whole reason that everybody watches the Super Bowl is because it's a beautiful merger of a concert that a concert commercials and a football game, whatever. It's it brings many people together for that reason. So multi, she's what, a multi. She, the Super Bowl is a real a, multi hyphenate. She is, mm-hmm. yes. That. And so, like, why I don't understand. I've seen so many commercials. Why do they keep showing them? Do anyway. you like any of them yet? Any of uh, them? The Uber Eats one is very funny. I do like that one. Who's in that? Um, that's the one with Vic- Victoria and David Beckham, Jen Aniston and David Schwimmer. Um, it's basically like. Did you know Uber Eats allows you, you can get all of these other things from Uber Eats and Jen, Jen Aniston's like, yes, I do know that. But because of that, I had to remove something else from my memory. And it's like all these people like forgetting pants because they remember they're able to get something from Uber Eats. Oh. And David Schwimmer comes to say hi to Jen Aniston and she forgets who he is because that uh, was the one piece uh. that she removed. Um, things like that. Um, it's very funny and cute whatever but great i've seen so many of them and it's stupid and i don't need i'm not going to watch the super bowl um i'm you're gonna, gonna let, be i'm gonna, gonna, gonna let be... you guess which which every year which commercial is my mom's favorite it's the same one same Ooh. commercial same company i should say it's not the same commercial same company. is it like budweiser it is budweiser is it okay and she goes i just <laughs> love those clients <laughs> So who doesn't? Who doesn't love those clients? They're gorge. Oh, did, was she a was up frog girly? Did she love the was up frogs? Um, I don't remember. I mean, that was so long ago, and I'm that was, so young. That was that was Budweiser, yeah. right? The was up, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. And I'm so young. I was like, I don't know, two maybe when yeah, that happened. So. Like yeah, one. you guys were. I don't. I'm a post nine eleven baby. Yet. Yeah, you're also. Yeah, you guys are. Those gens, we'll have to teach you. We'll have to show you these commercials yeah. sometime. Yeah. 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 I was one when Mean Girls came out. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. I'm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Who's you see you when we go? Next? Uh, yeah, you go. Okay. I am just don't fucking care enough about Taylor not hugging. I just don't care. I don't care. And I it's not even that I don't care about Celine Dion because bitch, please. We- Hello. But like, I'm not, this is not, is it that we just lack so much celebrity drama that we just are now putting like any little thing where like, oh my God, this is drama, but it's not. She just didn't hug her when she accepted the award and then they hugged backstage. And also like, she applauded for her. I'm not even like a Taylor Swift stand, but like, why are we talking about this? This isn't even like news. This isn't interesting. This isn't fun. Where's the fun? 
I don't like it. I'm not. I'm Where? over it. Yes. Where's the punching of somebody on stage? Bring that back. Bring, bring back Will the slap. Smith. Bring Slappy Will Chris Smith Rock. back. We need that. That was fun. We need tangible items, you know? Yeah. Ugh. Yes. Famously, Celine Dion, unfortunately, has a condition called stiff person's disease. I've not looked it up, but just by the name alone, girl, I'm not touching Celine Dion. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not hugging her. Consent, girl, what? to give her a handshake. Um, yeah, it's also just really stupid to be like, oh yeah, so she clearly hates Celine Dion. The leaps that you have to make to get to that as your girly, they're grasp, they're grasping at anything they grasping. possibly. Can. There's not even straws in the room. They're grasping at them. They're, and again, yeah. this is why she will never be at a Disney park never. during the public hours because she will, she will, she will handshake with Mickey the wrong way, and people are like, well, she fucking hates Mickey yeah. Mouse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And did you see? Did you see the look that she gave to Goofy? I think she's yeah. fucking him. Like mm-hmm. it's just, it's just like it's, it's really. It's really like, why do we have to give a play by play on every thing she does? Because it's like the only thing, the only thing I'm going to say, the only thing I'm going to say is that because she has created this energy of like everything has a hidden meaning Mm -hmm. that she's constantly working in these like follow the clues to reveal the whatever and get the national treasure book of secrets because it's that energy now people just like associate everything she does with a hidden meaning and it's like there's no hidden meaning she just that, didn't hug her yes. she uh-huh. just was on her way up to the stage just gave her speech and saw her f who care i just yeah. yeah it's like let her let her live like and you all need to live y'all need to touch grass there everybody needs to go touch grass it's so touch bad. grass as Get somebody who's been internet. told to touch grass, I'm telling you to touch yes. grass. Yes. What were yes. you told to touch grass about? The candy cane? My candy cane. The candy cane. <laughs> <sighs> Fun times. Casey. Okay. It's time to go off. All right. Now, my go off, I... Listen, I know that I am hilarious in the comments, but I do not need the notification that 27 people have liked my comment. I don't need to be reminded two weeks later on Instagram that 40 oh people have liked my comment. I don't need I don't need TikTok to keep being in my notifications. TikTok is the worst. Like, and right now, I have just left two comments on one Instagram. And mind you, they are very funny. The one comment is very funny because it's someone that... Um, she won't say which TV show it is, but Sharp Entertainment, which does 90 Day Fiance, they do Love After Lockup, they do a couple other shows, but it's probably one of these two. Sharp Entertainment used her home for her roommate to film something, and they used another roommate's room for the filming because the roommate that was being filmed, her room was not camera ready. And then they left a tarantula in the room. And Miranda then- and I are trying to follow this. Like we're the woman in the meme who's like the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> so Sharp Entertainment leaves a tarantula in in the room that they filmed in. And the roommate that lives in that room comes home and is like, why is this tarantula here? So she texts the roommate, the, uh, the roommate that was being filmed. And she's like, that's not my tarantula. Because this roommate has a tarantula. But she goes, that's not my tarantula. I can't, I can't. And <laughs> it turns out that the tarantula got recast because they decided that her tarantula was not camera ready. And so I left a very funny comment about not the ugly tarantula getting recast. But I don't need t- 200 notifications that people have liked it. Like, just let... just. Let me know I'm funny, and that's all I need to know. Don't need to be reminded that, like, once it's like just, just, it's just so stupid. The that's long circuitous path we took to get to that to go get off. To I this. love that. There we are. I but- hate. I am. So, I hate. I understand that in order for you to get that dopamine hit, 
it's like they will never let you just un- like stop even showing me notifications about getting mm. likes. I don't yes. care. I do. I will never care that I, I have only want twelve to likes see, on something. Yes, I only let want me know to when see... I have twenty four hundred likes. Yes, sure. or like just like, or just like I only need to see if someone is commenting and like fighting with me or something. You know, Correct. like if yeah. if it's action that I need to take. Correct. Because a, a just replying, telling me people have liked it, there's no action I need to take. Someone there. quote tweeting me. Mm-hmm. Let me know those things. Don't just Let say somebody passively. Numbers. Because honestly, giving a like, to, it's too easy. It's too easy. You can just it's accidentally like, double tap at any point, and all of a sudden TikTok, you've liked a picture from six years ago. The TikTok Oof. one is so annoying, though, because the way for you pages work, like you're going to be getting those notifications on a popular TikTok for years to come. Yes. Mm-hmm. There are like it will yes. constantly and it, it was like and like you don't even mm. remember. So it'll be like, oh they liked your comment. You go and you're like, oh my God, I forgot this TikTok existed. Right. Yes. I have a TikTok so from um January 15th that I that people or like a TikTok that I commented on January 15th. I'm still getting notifications to this day. It is February. Um, I commented on a crazy TikTok. First of all, I, I'm never on TikTok anymore, but I commented on a crazy TikTok like nine months ago. And it was this cr- video where like there were like a bunch of people running and someone was la It was like six things were going on at once. And all I said was, this is the most chaotic thing I've ever watched. I still get likes on it. And I'm like, that's not even funny. It's not even funny. It's I should I should just delete the comment at this point because now I'm tired of hearing about it. I I have deleted multiple comments because of notifications, and I was like, "Shut up, stop." And like sometimes stop. they will they will <laughs> you know just I feel like they um like I should not have all of this no. for one comment. No, like, just make it. You need to consolidate. make consolidate. Consolidate. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Um. Also, if I see, uh, one more go off, if I see these damn Halara overall overalls one more time, all of these baby toddler looking ass women wearing these overalls, going like these are the most comfy thing I've ever worn in my life. I've blocked. Halara. I'm not buying them, girly. Y'all look like little toddlers in these overalls. Because guess what? Because I have been spooked and spammed by Halara and I have purchased something before and they're not they they're oh, overseas they're like they but they're overseas and they take yeah. forever to like, get to you they're like gaucho pants but like gaucho pants yes yeah it's they're like so and the wide. thing is is it's so it's so interesting when you get these Halara the butt you know looks because terrible it's, it's all it's all user generated content because they're they're getting a commission off of yeah um but the thing is is that the shops that they're coming from it's always a different shop like it might be mm. like Halara US or it might be like Halara shop or it might be mm-hmm. you click on the shop and it's just like shop 15997 cuz it's all just like overseas shops yeah selling drop this shipping. product drop mm-hmm. shipping this product mm mm-hmm. mhm I wow. did buy some Halara pants recently, though. Um, so we'll see when they get here. <laughs> yeah, I would would... See in two months. <laughs> yeah. Reel, reel her in. Again, reel me in. <laughs> reel in. <laughs> Listen, I was the first one on this pod to buy something on, on TikTok from the TikTok shop. shop so, yeah. And I'm how's still that, paying the price. How's that going for you? It doesn't work at all. It sucks. <laughs> My vacuum dies in like 35 minutes. But when she's working, she's working. I'm getting, you know? I'm getting influenced on that. Do you know that? handheld dyson that like little one that like you t- put in use in your car oh, i'm getting influenced uh, on that and it's a problem i'm trying to do they the sell it at do they sell it at costco you could always buy it there and return it i don't know if breaks. they sell dysons at costco they do they sell the dyson they air do. app sometimes they do. Oh, okay, okay. they do have a dyson at costco dyson they, like the they do they do they do have a dice. That's my that's my new thing. I'm always like, if I'm gonna make a big purchase, I'm gonna make it from Costco to where I can just return it. Mm. Mm. I yeah. like the thing I like about Costco buying like big ticket items at Costco is I feel like they do their due diligence and find shit that's like quality. Like they're not gonna be like right. They our vet customers you for will sure. They vet it for you. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, mm-hmm. 
you have two vacuum cleaners. I'm choosing one or item one or item two. This is great. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. That's a good point. I'm trying to confirm if Jessica was saying that they do sell them at Costco. She's nodding her head. I think she was just making fun of us saying they do. They do. Oh. They do. Oh. They they do. do. Yes. They she do sell them at Costco. You. She does protect you. She does mm. protect you. Mm. Um, well, well, Miranda's leaving us next week. Oh, yeah. Miranda's leaving us. Um, she's she's headed to Sun and Sand. She's headed. Yep. Yep. Adam has Wait. no idea where I'm no, going. No, I remember. Yeah. We're going on a cruise. Nope. You're going to the Bahamas. Nope. You're going to Mexico. No, girl. You're going to... Adam, I mean, Adam, we will also give you, going to this location in two months. If you get it in the next one, you're going to you're going to a beach. So That's she not said, specific enough. It is a beach vacation. It's a beach vacation. It's not overseas. It's not over. It's out of the country. Well, it's Hawaii. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Out of the you country, would know girl. If I was going, yeah. That's, it's that's out of the United continental States. country. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I forget. I'm going to the Dominican. Oh, Dominican Republica. Mm -hmm. DR. Dominican. All inclusive. Yeah. Adults only. Adults only. Mm. Um, to celebrate a birthday. Whose? Coles. Not any of ours. Not any of yours. Not any of ours. It's tough. It's tough. So Jason Cole will be golfing and they'll be at the casino and I will be by the pool. <gasps> I went to a, I learned how to play blackjack. Because Who's our, blackjack? I don't even know what Black, blackjack is. Blackjack. Sorry. Blackjack. blackjack <laughs> sorry. I learned how to play like, blackjack. Huh? I what do you mean you jack. learned how to I play knew. blackjack? 21! Casino. You literally need 21! I didn't know what face cards were. I didn't know anything. So we had this party. Have you never played party. a card game ever? Yeah, I've played card games. You played Go Fish. I've played Go Fish. I played War. <laughs> Uno. What's I that, what's Uno. that one? What's I that played one Crazy Eight. I play cards against humanity. <laughs> what are they? Bullshit. That card game. Bullshit. Oh, yeah. Have we played that? That was a big youth group game for sure. BS. 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 Um, no, I learned. I didn't. We had a we had a brokerage event and it was casino themed. And so they hired like ca like casino people. And we played with like they gave us like a thing for fake money to start with. And then you could like win raffle the more money you had the more raffle mm. tickets you could get to win the mm. prize at the end of the night da, 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 da. i didn't say long enough but i the guy at my table who was leading the blackjack the the dealer he was like so nice and like really like clearly like trying to get tips but like he, none of the money was real so it was like nobody cared so he was like he gave me like a he was like oh you got an extra whatever i mean he was it was fun but I know how to play now, and I was like, "Wow, I, I see why I I see why people fall into this real quickly." Because <laughs> I was like, "Oh, this is fun. The money's not real; it's just chips." <laughs> yeah, they're just little chips. Yeah, little games. That's so fun. anyway. I'm an adult. Great. Now we can do At our 22. Vegas trip. Yeah, now Me and you, Casey, Vegas. you gotta 22. learn how to. You have to learn poker. That's that's the big one. No, I don't. <laughs> And I won't. I I won't. I won't either. I'll just be at the slots doing uh -huh. my little penny the slots. slots. The penny I, slots. I I used to or I used to. I played it once in Vegas. Um, roulette was my oh, favorite. They I had a roulette. Sure. Too. Love the roulette because I they love had a red or a black. Well, and I love that you can like. It's like okay, I want to put my chip between thirteen and forty-seven. You know, it's like you could put it between the two numbers. So then you're basically on both numbers. You don't get as much, but if it hits one of those numbers, you're you're good. Oh, okay. cool! Wow, never mind. <laughs> Wait, it, let's go. Let's get. Let's be. <laughs> let's done. wrap it up. Well, before we go, we just want to remind everybody: don't forget that we are uh, three times a month. You can find us on 
uh, Patreon, patreon.com slash mm-hmm. group. I don't know what <laughs> it is. Um, yeah. not it, check sure. the show notes it's because it's in the show slash did you read the group chat slash did you read the group chat patreon.com um, slash did you read the group chat three times a month every uh not every wednesday but three wednesdays in the month wednesdays we're gonna come month? to you and we're gonna tell you maybe a single writer pod maybe we're gonna tell you about single a cheesecake writer... factory review mm-hmm. okay maybe yeah. we're gonna tell you a, a third thing ep- that we haven't decided yet <laughs> yeah a new ep is happening uh Tomorrow. Tomorrow. It it's should me be and Casey. Well, it should be live. So if you're listening to this and not it here was live, yesterday. it was yesterday. Get on. And it. me and Casey had a ball. We had she a was, ball. She was unprepared. She came note less. And we no, impro- no. We did a big improv sesh. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Miranda, uh, wait, are, are, is your concert still happening? Yeah. This week? Yep. It, nope, it's February. I will be in Chicago the at this point, February, February 22nd. Yeah. Oh, 22nd. For some reason, I thought it was this week. No. Is it right no. after you're back from the Dominican? No, I, I get back from the Dominican next Wednesday, but you guys have Ooh. Valentine's plans. So that's why you're recording without me, and that's fine. Um, shouldn't no, I'll be back. You next also week. have Valentine's? Shouldn't no, I'm all flying of us back have to the, I'm flying plan? back from... That's my plan i'm flying home my plan is being on a plane being on a plane plane jane um and uh, please you know feel free to leave us a review if you haven't on apple Podcasts. it helps the podcast grow it helps people find us it makes us feel good miranda needs applause in order or else she'll die yeah i am in fact tinkerbell so (laughs) That's what they always called me. Yeah, you know. (laughs) Me and my petite little... No. The girl... I was just watching The Crown, by the way. The girl who plays Princess Kate, Catherine Middleton, in in this final season of The Crown. This is her first, like, real acting gig in her life, which is crazy. And she, when she got the call that she got the show, she was working at Legoland UK as a red brick. <laughs> she was a character. <laughs> she was the red That's brick. cute. She was just a brick? She was just, just a brick. brick. Good for wow. her. She, was, she didn't even get to be a, a, a whole body. Mm-mm, just the brick. I have wow. no idea how we got to that moment. We didn't even talk about the book. You said you were like... Tinkerbell, and so I thought of people playing. I mean, not that People play Disney characters, obviously, but like in theory, no, people could yeah. play Disney characters. Right, like yeah. a cosplay. Like a cosplay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, I would like to meet a, just a plain brick. I would like to. I would. Yeah. What other I colors? think the four of us could have a great time at Legoland, and I'm kind of not kidding at all. I feel like that would be a great Patreon episode. That would be a great Patreon episode. We could, you know what? We should go to Tampa and we can go to Bush Gardens and we can see the Clydesdales. <gasps> I love yeah. the Clyde. They love the Clyde. St- <laughs> I just love those Clyde. Love Clyde those Clyde oh. them. Okay, that's enough of this. Enough. Bye, girls. Bye-bye. Bye. Music? I think I started it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're still live, also. Oh. oh. Is it is that playing? <laughs> or wait, it maybe not- it stopped. Can you hear it? I Why can hear it. Playing it. On my... it still says live. Oh my god. Can they can you guys see us? Discovering voices in the world. The Ampliverse.